Hello everyone. In the previous video, we learned that how we can add a specific page size in our uh, our PDF file. So now the time is to add one more amazing feature in this series. So we are going to load the HTML file and then going to uh, generate the HTML file of this. Uh, uh, going to generate the PDF file from this HTML file. So how to add the HTML file? So let's go to this Bootstrap website and here let's copy all of the stuff and uh, go to your public directory and in the public I created order.html and in the order.html I have uh, paste this all of the stuff so my uh, HTML template is there so now I want to render this uh, into the PDF file so how to do this so documentation says that you need to override this load view with the load file call this method so let's uh, replace with this one and then you need to specify your path public path and then specify your uh, file name with HTML extension so in our case it's uh, inside the public that's why I'm calling this public path if you're in your case it's exists in a different like app directory so you can go to the app directory like here base path and to find this file so in our case it's uh, order dot HTML file save this one and uh, let's go here and generate the PDF generate PDF wait for a moment to complete this process it's going to generate the PDF with the error okay GD extension is required why it's showing this error because we need to enable this GD extension so let's go to the CMD and uh, open the php.ini file so let's type php ini and hit enter so it will open the php ini for us and search gd here and uh, this gd is here right so we need to uncomment this line so how to uncomment this just remove this semicolon so it will be uncomment and now it's saved we need to restart our server turn off and restart it again okay and go back and give it a refresh and it's going to generate the PDF for you okay it's uh, not uh, working for uh, in my case I don't know what's happening behind the scene everything is mentioned here that you need to enable this library uh, like this GD extension you need to remove the uh, semicolon from there and then this error will be gone everyone is saying the same but in my case it's not working for me hope it's uh, going to work for <laughs> your project so i wish you a very good luck and in the next video is going very amazing so i will meet you in the next one bye bye